Hi, I'm Michael Josh from Planet Vegeta, and this is the Real Me GT Neo 2 Dragon Ball Edition. Let's unbox it. The phone comes in this silvery box with some cool Dragon Ball Z artwork up front. You have Goku's different forms, Super Saiyan 3, regular Goku, and Super Saiyan 1. All right, let's peel off this plastic. Let me find a weak spot. Wait a minute, I have Super Saiyan powers. Wah! All right, let's open up this box. First up, a little packet with Goku in his Super Saiyan 3 form. And on the flip side, Majin Buu. Let's see what goodies are inside. A collectible card with the divine dragon Shenron on it. If you're unfamiliar, our protagonist Goku makes it his mission to collect all seven Dragon Balls. And once he does, he is able to summon the dragon Shenron, which can grant him a wish. Also in here, some stickers. Let's see what we've got. Goku and Vegeta in cyan form and another of Goku. Next, the Dragon Shenron, Goku's son Goten, the Dragon Radar, and the Kinten Cloud, or the Flying Nimbus if you watched here in the US. Next up, Chubby Majin Buu, and Hercule, or Mr. Satan as some would call him. This is Piccolo, and this is Gotenks, which is the fusion form of Goten and Trunks. And a sticker of me. Lastly, we have a Dragon Ball. Supreme Kai, Videl, King Kai's planet, and Gohan dressed as the great Saiyaman. Very cool goodies if you're a Dragon Ball fan. Next up is the phone itself, and even with the plastic wrap on, we can already see it's meant to match my costume. I mean, Goku's outfit. Further inside, there's a gray jelly case, which is a bit of a letdown as I would have loved to see something Dragon Ball related. There's also a SIM card ejector tool with the Dragon Ball Z logo etched, and if you flip it around, the four-star Dragon Ball, which is the most precious one of all because it was left to him by his grandfather. Finally, inside the box, we have a Super Dart Charger and a USB-A to C cable. What was your favorite goodie inside the box? For me, it was this sticker of Super Saiyan Goku, which, by the way, to become a Super Saiyan can only be achieved by need and not by will. Speaking of Super Saiyan, if you have more than one device to charge, consider this power brick from this video's sponsor, Bases, with their aptly named 30 watt two port Super Sai Pro Charger. It's got both an 18 watt USB C power delivery port and a 12 watt USB A port so that you can get faster speeds when charging two devices at the same time. Like the Realme GT Neo 2 and the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Using the 18 watt USB-C port, I can charge my iPhone 13 Pro Max to 60% in just 30 minutes. If you have a device that supports up to 30 watts like the iPad Air, you can also use the USB-C port on its own and get the maximum charging speed. This charging tech is based on a new material designed by Basus. Super Psi stands for Super Silicon. Silicon-based materials have been around for some time now and are very common. Typically, things that are made of silicon can resist extreme heat and cold conditions. In a lot of gadgets like laptops, for example, it's the material used in CPU heat dissipation. This year, Basus is bringing that same technology to a charger. Using Super Silicon, they were able to make a small charger that offers faster charging. This new material is what improves heat dissipation and prevents overheating when charging two devices at the same time. Its built-in real-time battery tracking also protects your smartphone's battery. Fast charging is great and all, but it generally wears out your battery. The two-port Super Psi Pro Charger intelligently recognizes your phone's battery health so it slows down charging once it reaches 80%. I also love that it's got a foldable plug so it takes up less space in storage. You too can get your two-port Super Psi charger from Basus, and if you use the links below, you get 20% off. Now let's take a look at the phone's design. 
the glass back panel has a matte finish with some metallic accents. It's orange and blue, made to be reminiscent of Goku's Turtle School uniform. The blue sides have metallic lines on them, and this continues to the metallic blue band around the phone. The camera bump is also in orange, but with a glossy finish to it. And over here on the top right is the kanji symbol that Goku wears on his chest. It's pronounced Go, and means wisdom and enlightenment. Now let's take a look at the software, starting with the lock screen. Do you like Goku with blonde hair or black hair? Swiping up takes you to the home screen. The phone runs Realme UI version 2.0 over Android 11. What you're seeing is a theme with custom icons also designed to match. When you download new apps like Instagram, for example, they'll have an orange border around it to match the look of the other icons. Now, if you want the wallpaper but not the icons, there's a separate theme that keeps the icons default. Or you could turn off the theme altogether and go vanilla, but why would you? Everything else looks the same, like the drop-down notification shade, or what Realme calls the Reno feed. One more cool Easter egg is when you turn on GT mode, you get this animation. GT mode improves gaming performance and the display's touch sampling rate. The GT Neo 2 is one of Realme's upper mid-range models. Apart from this special Dragon Ball edition, it's also available in green, blue, and black. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 875 g processor, comes with a 6.62-inch 120Hz AMOLED display, a 5000mAh battery with 65W charging, and has three cameras, wide, ultra-wide, and macro. Up front, it also has a punch-hole selfie camera. And that was our unboxing of the Realme GT Neo 2 Special Dragon Ball Edition. The phone starts at just under 3,000 yuan and is only available in China, but we found links to online stores that ship globally. I'll make sure to put links down below. I hope you guys had as much fun watching this video as I did dressing up and taking a look at this phone. If you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time we post new videos. Otherwise, I'm gonna get ya with my Super Saiyan powers. Follow me on social media for all the behind the scenes fun stuff. And as always, thegadgetmatch.com, your daily habit. Until the next video, I'm Goku. I mean, Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.